Hello, my name is Tracy Hopkins Jordan, and for this last week of our Kickstarter campaign for our interactive children's book, All Fixed Up, I wanted to say hello and do a quick video blog about what it is that I do and some other things that I wanted to share. I'll be honest, being behind the camera in front of a laptop actually creating things is definitely my comfort zone, so I'll try and add some visual aids along the way, maybe to bring a little bit more life of this so you don't have to watch me for the entire time. I'm going to be talking about three things. First, what I do as an interaction designer and some aspects of interaction design. Second, why it's important. And third, what makes this book that we're creating and those that we're actually going to be creating in the future different and unique, specifically when talking about interactive children's books. Interaction design is heavily focused on satisfying the needs and the want of the people who are going to be using your products. So when we talk about an app or that's going to be on a device like an iPad, and more specifically a book app, there are certain things you want to have in goals, as goals in mind for your users. As an interaction designer, I keep in mind where somebody may be using this app. So they might be in a couch, on their, in their front room, in a car with their parents, or a child might be ready to go to bed where it's dim, or they might be outside on the playground where it's bright. So you know, thinking about the environment that somebody's using your product is really important. The second part is, you know, also keeping in mind what a user wants to do when they're using your app. So keeping them engaged for their task is key, because if you hide some of your awesome work and a difficult means, nobody's going to discover it. Now, the next part that I want to talk about quickly is the five dimensions of interaction design. This was actually taken from a thing on Wikipedia, which I think was really interesting and articulate that kind of broke down these parts. The first being words, this is actually language and components of language that a person and a user interacts with. Visual representations, these can include but aren't limited to typography, di diagrams, icons, and other types of graphics. It's really the objects the users interact with on the interface. The third thing is physical objects or space. And this is actually um, a space in which users interact within the interface. So it could be like a fake looking beach scene, or it could be something very abstract. The fourth thing is time. And some examples of time are really content that's animated or sound that comes and goes. It's really um, how people experience the interface. So there could be lack of sound and motion that actually identifies something, or there can be a lot of little things going on to grab the user's attention. And the last thing is behavior. And the behavior really is about the user's actions and reaction to the interface and how they respond to it. So why are these aspects of interaction design important with creating interactive content? So just topically speaking, as a person that creates something for people to use and interact with, whether it's on a website that's on a computer screen or on a touch device like an iPad, other tablets, or mobile phone, I know that I can't sit with them and tell them when to hit a button or help them progress through something like a story or something as simple as where the volume is to make something louder. Thinking these things through is key and very important to discuss with your team and testing out with users. If you don't do, think these things through or test them out, problems will definitely come up later and make you as the content creator very, very sad. There's a whole span of people that are out there, they, people who know more than you and who know less of you. And you can't always assume that you're the happy medium and that if you get it, somebody else will. So a few people have asked us what makes this interactive book all fixed up so different. One thing that makes our approach different is that we're creating content with interactions that are unique to the story and the technology, not the other way around. So many of the currently available books that are online in the app stores were once really print books that in some ways were simply digitized, put into a touch environment, and then other bells and whistles were kind of added on afterwards. So the books that we want to create specifically all fixed up, is 180 degrees the other way and something new and exciting because every element's considered and incorporated into the story from the very beginning. So I'm going to guess you've heard enough about interaction design for today, but on a last note, um, you know, the next generation of children, they're going to be learning and they start learning the minute that they're born. And you never know what experience is actually going to stay with them for a very long time and maybe even inspire them for their future career. I wanted to bring out this small book, 
me, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, that actually my parents got for me when I was really young. And I guess my mom and dad filled out an online form, oh, I mean, a piece of paper and mailed it in. And, um, you know, my siblings' names, actually here's our dog, Shammy. And the story incorporated me, my birthday, my, my uh, I think it was like my birthstone and stuff like that, which I was about three or four years old when we got this and it was pretty amazing. I was really excited and I love this book. Every time I see it, I look at it and I kind of get, oh, there's that book that I loved when I was a little kid. So although this looks like antiquated technology now, don't forget that that is what the iPad and all those things are going to look like to your children in 10, 20 years from now, but they will still remember it and be inspired by it. So, you know, it was really interesting as I actually went to the patent office online and looked up this company and saw these amazing schematics on how they were going to print these books. It was pretty cool. So it was just kind of one of those things that customization and personalization has been here for a long time. We're trying to bring it to a new interactive element, but adding the part of sharing it to other people with our book all fixed up. So thank you so much and thank you for your support and for watching me.